Hi everyone, are you familiar with this particular tune? I believe most of us do. This piece is the famous nocturne in E flat major, composed by a Polish composer, Frederick Chopin. Frederick Chopin was born in the west of Warsaw, a state in Poland. According to the Polish baptismal record, Chopin's birthday was given as 22nd February 1810, but the family and Chopin himself used the 1st of March 1810 as his birthday, which is now generally accepted as the correct day by the people all over the world. His father was Nicolas Chopin, who was a Frenchman and emigrated to Poland when he was a teenager. Nicolas Chopin played the flute and the violin in the household, while Chopin's mother, Justyna Susanowska, played the piano and was Chopin's first mentor on the piano. Chopin also had an elder sister and two younger sisters. Their names were Ludwika, Isabella, and Amelia, respectively. Although Chopin's first quote-unquote mentor was his mother, Chopin's first professional music tutor was the Czech pianist, Wojciech Zuvenus, during the age of six. His elder sister also took lessons from Zuvenu, and the two siblings would play duets together. He was soon discovered as a child prodigy, like many other famous composers. He gave his first appearance at a charity concert when he was in the age of eight, and he started to compose pieces when he was seven. At the age of 16, Chopin was enrolled into the Warsaw Music Conservatory for three years, learning different kinds of stuff like theory and composition. He composed music there and he even performed for the Russian Emperor at that time. As Chopin wanted to expand his horizons, he left Poland and went to Vienna in November 1830. After eight months, Chopin left and headed to Paris and never returned to his homeland again. As a pianist, Chopin only had about 30 public concerts in his entire life. He preferred to play his pieces in the salons or his friend's house. He was shy and he disliked performing at concerts. He even said, Concerts are never real music. You have to give up the idea of hearing in them all the most beautiful things of art. And so, he had the least public appearances of all other composers while being popular. He supported himself by mostly selling his compositions and giving piano lessons to others. Chopin was so influenced by the Baroque period composer, Johann Sebastian Bach, that he would bring the well-tempered clavier composed by Bach with him all the time. Besides listening to Bach's music himself, he teaches Bach's works to his students too. Chopin also admired a lot of other composers, such as Haydn and Mozart. Chopin was a very loyal Polish. Although his body was in Paris, his heart always belongs to Poland. He composed a lot of Polish folk songs, and he even brought up a Polish folk dance, Mazurka, into the Romantic era, and Mazurkas became one of the trends in Europe during the 19th century. Chopin started a friendship with another famous piano composer, Franz Liszt. They met each other in one of Chopin's concerts. They performed together for Prince Adam Chartowski. But later on, Chopin and Liszt started to become frenemies. They started to get jealous of each other for their incredible skills on their works of the piano. Their friendship became more distant when Liszt played on one of Chopin's nocturnes and netted a few embellishments, which made Chopin furious. They had quite a lot of ups and downs together, but in general, they are still good friends. <laughs> or frenemies. In addition, Chopin's works were also impressed by other composers too. One of them was Robert Schumann. In one of Chopin's concerts, Schumann said, Hats off, gentlemen, a genius. 
Chopin was in love with a woman, George Sand. Their relationship lasts for about nine years. George Sand was a pretty different woman. She wore men's clothes and smoked cigarettes. When Chopin first met her, he was like, "Is she even a woman?" They became friends eventually and started to fall in love with each other. Chopin was always ill and sick, and George Sand was the one taking care of him. They eventually broke up because George accused Chopin for having love interests to their daughter Solange, which is not quite the case. Chopin composed about fifty-one to sixty-one mazurkas, sixteen polonaises, twenty-six prelates, twenty-seven etudes, twenty-one nocturnes, twenty waltzes, three sonatas, four ballets. Four scherzos, four impromptus, seventeen Polish songs, and other different pieces. Here are some famous pieces composed by Chopin. His pieces are genuinely emotional with the use of changing tempo and stuff. Chopin was a fan of metronomes, and he always used it with his students. Before he died, Chopin asked his family to do several things. Number one, he asked his family to destroy the pieces that Chopin never published publicly, which is never fulfilled. And number two. Asked his sister to cut his body, take his heart, and deliver his heart contained in a jar full of alcohol back to Poland when he died. With the help of his sister, Ludwika, the heart was safely arrived in Poland, and it is now sitting in a pillar in the Holy Cross Church. And at last, Chopin died on the seventeenth of October, nineteen forty-nine, in Paris. He died due to sickness. Tuberculosis. In Chopin's funeral, Mozart's Requiem was played, and so were some other pieces composed by Chopin himself. A lot of people went to the funeral, except good old George Sand. <laughs> Chopin's music was influenced by a lot of different composers after Chopin's time. For example, Claude Debussy. 
and Shupa's music still influences a lot of people nowadays. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.